Tell me about your plans for year 35. Mm -hmm. Plan is to stay healthy, be happy, and keep achieving my dreams. This was Vaish Kumar Cheers. celebrating her 35th birthday last year. Just months later, the hard-working junior doctor took her own life. It was um, like the whole world collapsed. And it was very difficult to really believe that she is no more. I think the whole system failed her. Recent figures show doctors are between two and five times more likely to take their own lives than the general population with one doctor in the UK dying from suicide every one to two weeks. And female doctors are two and a half to four times more likely to take their own lives than their male counterparts. Dr Giles Dorney lost a female colleague to suicide a few years ago. He now works as a GP and has struggled with his own mental health, but says doctors often can't get the help they need. If anyone says, I've got mental health issues. The standard knee-jerk reaction is like, we'll just sort it out. You know, we're busy. We need, you know, and the, the sort of help for people who are, who are struggling and burning out. We say it's there, but I don't, is it? You know? Dr Jagdeep Sidhu was a successful cardiologist, but in 2018, he too took his own life. His brother has now set up a charity to help others. Doctors are just saying, look, you know, we're, we're at crisis point and we don't want to leave the profession. We don't want to let our patients and our colleagues down. But, you know, sadly, we have to try and think about our own health at, at sometimes. But sadly, sometimes a lot of them leave it too late. The government says it's invested millions in mental health hubs for the NHS. But Giles says the workplace culture has to change. You can't make us work too hard and talk about our feelings at the same time. It doesn't work. That's basically where we are. And if we can't talk about our feelings, then we will, we will burn out. They spend their working lives caring for others. But the reality is that many doctors need help too. Leila Hayes, Five News.